Hello, Bologna United Methodist Church. I am so excited to be here to share this information with you. I wish you could see where I am the entire room. I am in the building <laughs> and you can be in the building too. We are so excited to let you know that starting next Sunday, we will be having three ways to worship. One, inside our beautiful building. I know the building doesn't make the church, the people do, but how exciting is it for those of us who are getting ready to come back and worship together in this building? We will have online worship, and we will also have outdoor parking lot worship. Pastor's gonna go over some of those with us. Again, I'm so excited to be with you, and I cannot wait to welcome you back next Sunday. As Anna mentioned, we are preparing for indoor worship at Bologna United Methodist Church. If you are joining us for indoor worship, worship begins at 9 a.m. Please do not arrive before 8.45 a.m. We'll open the doors at 8.45 a.m. and you'll be invited to come in at that time. If you are coming for indoor worship, we're facing this parking lot because we'd like for you to park in the front parking lot at the church on the side where the Medal of Bologna United Methodist sign are and the playground are. That is the entrance you will come into as you enter worship. If I were coming to indoor worship, I'd already have my mask on, but since I'm talking to you, I wanna explain a little bit more about what you can expect. When you enter, there will be signs on the door explaining the precautions we need to take related to COVID. Please do not come to indoor worship if you are feeling unwell, if you have a sore throat, a cough, a fever, if you've been around someone who's been exposed to COVID. We are so excited to do indoor worship, but we cannot do it without everybody making sure that they are following the precautions that we need to take. When you get here, you'll be wearing a mask. If you forget a mask, we do have some available. Please don't turn around if you forget your mask. Just know that you will be expected to wear a mask. If you would not like to wear a mask right now while we're indoors, it would be best for you to stay home during this time. There's also hand sanitizer, and we ask that everybody use hand sanitizer when they come in. There'll be ushers and greeters who are here to welcome you. They're gonna make sure you use, have a mask and that you use hand sanitizer. And they'll also ask your name and maybe a phone number because we want to make sure we're contact tracing and make sure we have all the information we need if there were to be someone with COVID in our congregation. After you have entered in, done, had your mask on and hand sanitizer, someone will show you to your seat and you'll be able to find a place to sit where you are physically distant. We do ask that the whole time you're in the building, you wear your mask and you stay physically distant from anyone who is not a part of your immediate family or your family that you um, spend time with right now. Inside the worship center, we have chairs spaced out and physically distant from one another in pods of two, four, and six. If you are a family of more than six, we need to know that. So when you sign up, you can let us know. And as I mentioned earlier, we ask that you only sit with the people that are part of your family. That might mean one or two generations or multiple generations. You might be wondering how you sign up for indoor worship. We're gonna ask you to sign up every week if you're planning to come. We will send out an email on Monday mornings at 9 a.m. with a link to the sign-up sheet. And there you can let us know you're coming. You can let us know how many people in your family you plan to sit with. So if you're a family with grandparents and adult children and grandchildren. We ask that you all sign up together to let us know you're coming so we can be prepared for you. We wanna have everything as easy as possible when you arrive so we know um, that you're gonna be here and we have a pod available for you. We ask again that you sign up every week by Friday afternoon so we know what to expect. And also on that sign up sheet, I want you to know if you're interested in volunteering, you can sign up to volunteer on that sign-up sheet as well for all kinds of options from greeters and ushers to lay readers to audiovisual. We need at least 10 people a week to help us make these services possible by volunteering. So find that information on Facebook or in your email on Monday morning. After worship is over, we're going to ask that you exit out a different door than you entered in. So remember you're entering through the door on the front of the parking lot if you come for indoor worship where the playground is. And then as we leave worship, you'll be able to exit out the back door where the church van is parked. That is for a couple purposes, so we're not using the same doors as entrances and exits, but also because our parking lot people, which we'll find out more information about in a moment, will be in that back parking lot. So you'll be able to fellowship with them after worship. 
trusting that everybody remains with their masks on and stays physically distanced while they're outside. You'll also have an opportunity as you leave the service to drop off your offering and we will also be able to take the offering plates out to those in the parking lot. Just as we've talked about, you will be able to also enjoy parking lot worship. We're gonna ask that you park in back, plenty of spaces. You'll be able to turn your radio to 107.9 once worship is over, everyone that's attended indoor worship will have an opportunity to exit through this side door here. They'll come out with their mask and everybody will have a chance to do some social distance fellowship. We're excited to see everybody. Can't wait to have you back. Just like we have been doing throughout the pandemic, online worship is still an option. So you'll be able to watch at 9 a.m. while worship is happening indoors and in the parking lot as well. For now, we will just have worship live at 9 a.m. on Facebook. And then later in the afternoon by 2 p.m., we'll upload it to YouTube so you can watch on YouTube as well. Though we are making the decision right now to move to indoor worship as one of our options, I want you to know that the relaunch team will continue to meet and we will continue to evaluate the situation related to the pandemic as we move forward. If there is a time when we decide we need to move to online only worship, we will certainly make that decision. We are excited about the possibilities right now for worship indoors and outdoors and online. And so we hope that you will make the decision that is best for you and your family. We know that some people are hunkering down and feel unsafe going out right now. And we know others cannot wait to be around others in the church family indoors. Wherever you are on that spectrum, you are welcome and God will meet you where you are. We can't wait to see you in whatever way you worship next Sunday, November 15th.